Hey guys, how's it going? Right here, I have the Rocket Cone IMO Remastered, and it's been my daily driver for over a month. I've actually upgraded this from the original Rocket Cone IMO, and really, there hasn't been many changes. Now, normally when you think of upgrades, you think of some new spec change or some killer new feature that makes it worthwhile for you to get a completely brand new uh, product. But in this case, there's actually not many changes at all. That said, I still use this mouse every day. And let's take a look at why I like it so much and whether or not you should get it. Welcome back to another review from Reviews for Life. Let's begin. Inside the box, there really isn't too much stuff. You get a quick installation guide and the mouse. The mouse is pretty big and it's definitely recommended to use a palm grip. Both the logo and text are black and combined with the black color of the mouse produces a very understated look. But like any peripheral, you can't call it gamer without adding LEDs. These can be controlled via software and you can save five different custom profiles. The thing that made me switch over to the Cone IMO is the scroll wheel. It's big and grippy and perhaps is the best I've ever used. When scrolling, it's extremely quiet yet provides a very solid tactile feel. But what I like most about this scroll wheel is its consistent ability to middle click. This means I don't accidentally tilt it to the left or right I noticed that this was a problem to some of the previous mice I've used. What I really wished they could have added was the free scrolling capabilities like some of the Logitech mice. The feature I like most about this mouse is the easy shift. It's a modifier key right by the thumb rest. It allows all the buttons, including the scroll wheel, to be reprogrammed to any function you want. If you've never used a modifier key on a mouse before, it's truly a game changer. For example, I set it so that when I hold down the easy shift and scroll up, the volume increases, and if I scroll down, the volume decreases. Other shortcuts I've programmed include switching tabs in the web browser and page up and page down navigation. The onboard memory is a great convenience feature. It's one of those things that I don't use very often but is extremely useful just to have it there. Sometimes when I need to swap the mouse over from my desktop to my laptop, I don't need to reconfigure all of my shortcuts in order to get started. This is a huge time saver and I'm really glad that it's there. Next, let's talk about the sensor consistency. This mouse uses a Pixar PMW3381, which is the same as the Cone Pure Ultra. Long story short, the sensor is very good. And although it's advertised to have 16,000 DPI, Rocket recommends to only use between 400 and 3,000 DPI for optimal performance. In terms of software, almost every aspect of the mouse can be customized. The DPI can change in 50 dot increments, and the buttons can be assigned to almost anything. And finally, there's the RGB section. There are several pre-programmed patterns to select from, and each pattern can be configured with different colors. Unfortunately, there's no way to program your own pattern. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? Well, I purchased the original Rocket Cone IMO because I tried it out and really, really liked the scroll wheel. And as I started to integrate the Easy Shift feature into my workflow, I realized that I've become dependent on it. What's more is that the onboard memory is a huge plus because after setting up all my shortcuts for the easy shift, I don't need to reprogram it once again when switching over to a different computer. Now let's talk a bit about the price. I got this for 77 Canadian or about 58 US dollars. And personally, I thought it was a great purchase. If you're on the fence, I would get it and test out the grip just to make sure it fits your hands. This is an excellent mouse for the price, and it is an easy recommend from me. Okay, that's it for the review. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.